What's up, Nut Soldiers? I'm Nut Alliance, and welcome back to another video. So today is going to be a different type of video because today I'm going to be doing my 10 predictions for Star Wars Episode Nine: The Rise of Skywalker. So I did a video recently like this, except for that was a video where I was saying what I wanted to see. In this video, I'm going to be saying what I think is actually going to happen. So not necessarily things that I want to see actually happen in the film, but things I think that the creators are going to actually put into the film. I've actually done a bunch of these in the past, and every single time I get probably like five of them right. So let's see how many I get for this one. And since at the time of this recording, we're about 30 days away from the Rise of Skywalker's release, I figured let's do it now. Then when the film is actually released, we'll look back at this video and we'll see how many I actually got right. I'm probably gonna get all of them right because I just, I'm just that great. And as always, if you guys enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more, please remember to like, subscribe, and turn on vacation for more. It really help out the channel. So with that said, let's begin. Okay, so for my first prediction of this video, I think that we're going to see Kylo be talked to by Anakin. Maybe even Luke too, but mostly I think that Anakin and Kylo are going to have a chat and that chat is what's going to actually turn Kylo back to the light. A big point of Kylo's character is that he looks up to Darth Vader and what he stood for. So I think Kylo actually meeting the actual Darth Vader and that Vader coming to him and being like, hey look, I know that you think I was like a badass, but the whole point is, is that I was not a good person. Do you know, I was not who I should have been. I fell to the dark side, you fell to the dark side. The only issue is I only found out too late. I couldn't stop myself, but you are still young. You still have time you can still turn back from this. You can help out the resistance and we can change this. And I think that's something that is going to actually happen. Like I said, Luke might actually be there for the conversation too, but they might just keep it Anakin and Kylo because like I said, Kylo Ren was initially supposed to be like Darth Vader light. You know what I mean? And when I say light, I don't mean like a um, good version. I mean like a diet version, I guess you could say. Now for my number two prediction, I think that we are going to finally find out how Maz had Anakin's lightsaber all along. I actually think that the opening scene for this movie is going to be a flashback. And that might sound weird, but I think we're gonna see a flashback of how Maz actually acquired the lightsaber. It's gonna be something small, but I think it's going to be interesting because it's going to begin with Maz getting the lightsaber, or we're going to see how the lightsaber came into her possession. And then I think it's gonna do like a transition into um, Rey and Leia talking because it's Rey and Leia's final conversation because Leia is actually dead by this point too. And what I mean by this is that we'll have a flashback that's going to fade into a future flashback that's eventually gonna fade into the actual movie. Now that sounds kind of weird, but I think it would work out really well because we get a little bit of a brief explanation onto how exactly Maz acquired the lightsaber and the significance of the lightsaber coming back to Rey. And then from there, we would see Rey saying bye to Leia. Now there is a scene in the, the trailers for The Rise of Skywalker that shows Leia and Rey kind of hugging and like showing that they really care about each other. And I'm almost certain that is either a vision of Rey's that she sees after Leia's passing or at Leia's funeral, it's going to be a flashback that Rey experiences that she's gonna remember. So I don't know, that could just be me, but that's I think that would be a pretty interesting way to do that. Kind of a cool way to reintroduce us into the film because The Last Jedi made um, Anakin's lightsaber so insignificant. Do you know what I mean? So it would be cool to kind of do the first scene in this this movie being like, look, this lightsaber is a big deal. The fans love it. We know that. Here you go. Let's fix that right off the bat. So I'd like to see that happen. So for my number three, I think that one of the main three characters are actually going to die. When I say main three, I mean Rey, Finn, and Poe. I initially thought it was going to be Poe, but now I actually think that Finn is going to give his life to save probably Rose. As we saw from The Last Jedi, regardless of how you feel of Rose's character, there is a relationship between Rose and Finn. But I think what should happen in this new one is that Rose is in trouble and Finn has to sacrifice himself to save her. And I think that would be a really cool thing to do. Um, that would kind of show how heroic Finn's character is. I know that Rose is going to survive somehow. Maybe she would be pregnant with Finn's baby or something like that to kind of pass that on to a possible future film that we'll probably see. I don't know but I think that's probably going to happen. If any of the main three, I thought initially it was going to be Poe, but I'm almost certain Poe is going to take the spot of Leia, while Rey is going to take the spot of uh, Luke. So I'm pretty sure that there's not really going to be a Han Solo character-esque, because um, you can't be Han Solo. 
Do you know what I mean? Initially, Poe Dameron is kind of shown to be Han Solo-ish, but he has kind of become more like a, uh, a leader, like Leia becomes. So I think that instead of being like a scoundrel character, I do think that Finn is going to bite the bullet. Could just be my opinion. You know, maybe he jumps in front of some force lightning to save uh, Rose or something, but I'm almost certain he's going to die sacrificing himself to save somebody else. Something that he should have done in The Last Jedi, it's gonna come full circle here. That's just my opinion. Like I said with all these, I could be wrong, but I think that if there is going to be any of the main three, even though I actually like Finn, or at least I like Force Awakens Finn. Last Jedi Finn was okay. But I, I think Finn is a decent character. I think he has a lot of potential. But I think that out of the three main characters, he's going to be the one to die. Now moving on to number four, and I think this is going to probably be the big one that kind of makes a lot of fans annoyed. I don't think we're going to get any explanation on Snoke. Like the whole Snoke situation is just going to be saved for the novels and the comic books and maybe a game or something in the future. We're not gonna get anything on Snoke. We're not going to get any sort of explanation from um, where he came from or who he was. If anything, it's gonna be brought up in a throwaway line by Palpatine. Palpatine's gonna be like, ha, huh, you know who Snoke is? Yeah, I was his leader or I controlled him the entire time. Ha ha ha, Snoke was all a puppet. So to keep you guys entertained with the First Order why I built my real empire in the, in the hidden depths of the space. That's actually one of my other predictions that I'm gonna get to eventually too. So yeah, I think it's gonna be one of those things where it's gonna be a quick little mention, but we're not gonna get anything big on Snoke. It's just gonna be a little, so this is where he came from, bah, that's it. We forget about him now. So that's what's probably gonna happen. So for my number five prediction, this is, I kind of mentioned this earlier, but I'm almost certain we're going to see Leia's funeral. I think that not only does Leia, the character deserve a funeral in this universe, but I also think that Carrie Fisher deserves one. Carrie Fisher is Princess Leia Organa. Do you know what I mean? She was a beautiful woman. She was a beautiful actress. She had so many cool things about her and we got to send her off right. So I think that that'd be a great way to kind of do it. Just give her a nice little funeral where everyone's standing around. I mentioned before in one of my previous videos and this could be just me, but I think it would actually be pretty cool if we actually saw at Leia's funeral, we would actually see like Rey and all of our heroes kind of standing around the casket or whatever they're going to do with her body. And then, um, one of them looks over and Kylo is actually there too. And he's actually just standing there just watching the whole situation. And of course, initially Ray's like, oh, I got to fight him. But then she's like, nah, like this is not a day of, of war. You know, today is a day to mourn Leia. We can fight tomorrow, but for right now, this is, this is Leia's time. We're going to, we're going to give peace on this day. And I think that'd be a really cool way to kind of send her character out. Okay. So for the rest of these predictions, they're all pretty much connected. Um, and they're all probably going to be near the end of the film. So let's start with number six. I think that Palpatine is going to show up with his own army. Now, whether he is in the flesh or he is a force ghost, but I'm almost certain that he had actually created his own empire and the first order was just kind of like a ruse. So people could be focused on that, have the resistance fighting the first order, have the first order fighting resistance. They're not looking for other empires happening anywhere else. So he's going to have his own like Red Legion. And I came up with the name Red Legion because um, of all the red stormtroopers we saw in the most recent trailer. They're probably going to be called like Sith Troopers or something like that. That's actually pretty cool, I'm not going to lie. But I like the idea of Red Legion because that's what they are. They're a bunch of troopers and a legion dressed in red. So I think that'd be pretty cool. Now adding on to that sixth prediction, my seventh prediction is going to be that the First Order and the Resistance are actually going to team up to take out this uh, new Red Legion. Now, whether that's true or not, remains to be seen, but I think that'd be a really cool concept. If you look at the recent trailers, it almost looks like the First Order and the Resistance are actually teaming up at the end. So I think in the beginning, we're definitely gonna see these two fighting, but near the end, um, Kylo and maybe Rey will come together and they'll bring their forces together to take on the Red Legion. So I think that'd be a pretty cool way to kind of send out this uh, new trilogy. Now on a side note, before I get to the rest of these, I just kind of want to say this. For me, I always felt like the new sequel trilogy kind of missed the mark on where it should be at. So if the prequel trilogy has half the galaxy versus half the galaxy, and then the original trilogy would have the galaxy versus itself, naturally the sequel trilogy would then introduce the idea of the galaxy versus another galaxy, something bigger, something more grand scale but we didn't get that. So I'm almost certain that episode nine is going to introduce this idea of another galaxy. Now, of course, 
I'm not talking like you saying Vong, you know, I'm not talking that far of like from a separate universe type of thing. I think it's still going to come from this galaxy, but I think it's going to be from the far reaches of space, you know, where no one travels. There's no reason to go over there. That's where Palpatine has been building his legion for the last uh, 30 years. And I know that's pretty reminiscent of what Valkorian did in the Old Republic, but I think that'd be really cool to see. So for my eighth prediction, this is actually something that I thought we were going to see in The Last Jedi, but we, we didn't see it. But I'm almost certain we're going to see a Force Ghost battle. I don't know how it would be done. I don't know exactly know the logistics of the fight and how um, where it would take place and all that stuff, but I think this would be awesome to see. And I think that if they're going to choose anyone to fight Palpatine, it's got to be Anakin. I think we're going to see an Anakin versus Palpatine Force Ghost fight. Now I'm going to mention other Force Ghosts later on in the video, but for right now, I'm almost certain we'll see Anakin and Palpatine go at it because it's almost like that is the fight that we have been waiting for. Out of all the fights that everyone really wants to see, you know, we saw Yoda versus Palpatine, we saw Obi-Wan versus Anakin, we saw Luke versus Vader. We have not seen Emperor Palpatine versus Anakin Skywalker, and these two characters are arguably the strongest Force users in all of the Star Wars universe. Even though it wouldn't actually be like a lightsaber duel, I'm almost certain we're gonna see Anakin and Palpatine go at it as Force Ghosts. Now my number nine prediction and probably one of my biggest controversial ones that people are going to think on this list, I'm almost certain Kylo Ren is going to sacrifice himself to save Rey. I think that Rey and Kylo are initially going to fight maybe Palpatine or a clone of Anakin, or something is going to happen that's gonna make them team up to lightsaber fight somebody else who's overpowering them. So they have to initially team up to beat him. And uh, Rey's gonna get beaten down and Kylo's gonna sacrifice himself to save her. Now I also think what would be cool to see is if someone loses an arm. So even if Kylo doesn't die, that arm better go. You know what I mean? Ray, Kylo, one of you guys got to lose your arm. I know technically you should have lost your arm in The Last Jedi because there's always the main Skywalker loses a hand in the second film of the trilogies. Definitely a big missed opportunity there, uh, Mr. Ryan Johnson. But we can still rectify that. Episode 9. You know, the idea of Episode 9 is going to be the finale to this massive Skywalker saga. But just because it's the finale doesn't mean that everyone has to get out unscathed. So while Finn may die, Poe but maybe lose an eye, you know, maybe Ray loses her arm and uh, Kylo dies too, or he loses a leg, I don't know. We know that the heroes are going to win, but they can't win flawlessly. So I'm almost certain between Ray and Kylo, if one of those two characters are going to die, it's gonna be Kylo and he's going to die, sacrifice himself to save Ray. Which I think if the rest of my predictions come true and they actually had teamed up and they maybe actually had formed a bond beyond what we saw in The Last Jedi, I think that'd be really cool. Now for my 10th prediction and probably something that I don't know if fans necessarily want to see, but I know that this is something that needs to happen on some sort of scale. So here it is. I think that all the force ghosts that we've seen so far are actually going to team up to take down Palpatine's force ghost. So like I mentioned earlier, how there's going to be an Anakin versus Palpatine force ghost battle or someone versus Palpatine force ghost battle. It doesn't matter who it is, there's going to be some some type of force ghost battle. I think initially that battle is going to end badly for the hero. So let's say it is Anakin and Palpatine. I think Anakin is actually going to get overpowered. However, before he gets force destroyed or something, um, all the other force ghosts would show up and kind of help him out. And they'd all just team up to take down Palpatine. Pretty much when it comes down to it, since episode one, Palpatine has been the big bad Darksider. So I think that they're going to actually show this in episode nine. They're going to show that he is so powerful. You know, he lived beyond his physical body. He is still able to manipulate the world and he's dead. You know what I mean? So we're definitely going to see something. Maybe he made a clone of himself or maybe he made a clone of Anakin and then put himself into Anakin's body or something like that. Um, that one's a little far-fetched, but that would actually be pretty dope. But we're going to see Anakin. We're going to see Yoda. We're gonna see Luke, we're gonna see Obi-Wan. We might even see Qui-Gon Jinn. Do you know what I mean? All these Force Ghosts, we might actually see even more, maybe Mace Windu, you know, ki Adi Mundi, uh, Plo Koon, Kit Fisto, maybe even Ahsoka Tano if she's still alive, or even if she is a Force Ghost, maybe we'll see those characters come actually to fight Palpatine. Although technically it was Anakin and the clones who killed the majority of the, um, the Jedi. 
And at the end of the day, it was Palpatine who gave the order. So Palpatine was the one who killed all of them. So it would be really cool to just see all of these Force Ghost Jedi from Episode 3 and just maybe even ancient Jedi just kind of come back just to take him out. I mean, imagine like Dooku just standing there like next to Qui-Gon. Like that'd be really cool to see Qui-Gon and Dooku standing there and Dooku just like, all right, Palpatine, I owe you one. You know, we about to do it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Not to mention by this point in the film, we would have already seen Leia's funeral. So technically Leia could even be a force ghost showing up. Heck, maybe even Han Solo um, shows up. I don't know how that would work, but I like Han, so why not? But that is it for my 10 predictions for Star Wars Episode 9: The Rise of Skywalker. What do you guys want to see? You want to label all 10 in the comments below? Go for it. You just want to label one? Do that too. Do you agree with any of my predictions? Do you disagree with any of them? Do you think that they're all crap? Let me know. Comments below. Please remember to like, subscribe, and turn notifications for more videos. And until next time, guys, I'll catch you later. Peace.